a fun training today because it's kind of a follow-up to the conversation that we had last week with Dr. Dory Narbo and our conversation about clean slate comparatively. And the beautiful part of how the world works, you know, we get unique introductions. I get, I get unique introductions to new amazing people every day. And last week, let me see here. We'll make sure Sandy's doing a good job policing everything. So last week, Sandy, Sandy made an, uh, a very awesome introduction to what he explained was this really cool naturopath in the UK that does live blood cell analysis and, and dark field microscopy. And for those of you who are unaware, live, live blood analysis is, well, honestly, just that. It's taking a drop of your live blood, putting it on a slide, using a, a very unique microscope that does dark field imagery. Basically what that means is it puts a black light and a dark screen behind, behind the blood and shines a light through it so you can see what's happening and what's taking place. And it's become, I'll say, rather popular over the last year or so um, for the importance of looking at the blood of people that are coagulating much quicker than they they might expect to and might need to uh, due to injection or due to exposure of different different environmental toxins and chemicals and pollutants. So with that, I had an amazing conversation last week with Miss Caroline Mansfield, who is a naturopath in the UK, which we have a lot of love for the UK right now. And her experience, I'll let you touch on this a little bit more, but you go back 20, was it 20 years on live blood analysis and working as a naturopath? You've seen a lot of stuff in your career. Yeah, it's, it's true. I've been working for 20 years as a naturopath and I qualified, um, yeah, it was 1999. So, and then I, I studied live blood analysis the year after that. So it's a good 21 years now. Um, I've been doing what I do interestingly and as you say it's now live blood analysis is I'm from New Zealand originally and that's where I was trained and um, it's always been very big in New Zealand and Australia but not so much in the UK so nobody really knew about it when I came to England and uh, yeah it's always very intriguing to most people here but in New Zealand and Australia they're very familiar with it I don't know how it is in the USA uh, not, you know, it, it's interesting because here in the United States, I think there's there's a little bit too much information to be found by looking at live blood. So it's kind of been banned. <laughs> kind of banned, you could say. <laughs> they don't like practitioners. They don't like people doing it. So, yeah, I, exactly. And I think that's why they they banned it in Australia as well. I don't think um, that they can they can use it in Australia. But in New Zealand, yes, still. Um, here it's okay in the UK. Um, but you've got to be very careful how you promote yourself. So I pulled up some slides real quick. I, I basically pulled up the photos that you sent over and some of the videos. So we'll we'll look at these. I think you can see this. So these were some of the images you sent over. And we'll walk through what some of these images and videos mean, the interpretation and, and such. So the first one, this was this was from someone who has been injected, correct? Um, yes, so that, that image was taken from the injection site um, of a, a patient of mine who'd had the injection a day before. I think it was the AZ um, injection. So just um, say, uh, as a comparison, this is your blood. That's my blood, yeah. This is when we're, when we're looking at live blood analysis, the little bubbles you can see, those are your red blood cells. We want them to be lovely and round and roughly the same shape and size. Um, and the membrane edge, um, that's very, very important as well to have a healthy membrane. So we want to have a negative charge on the outside of the cells as well. So the cells aren't attracted to each other and they don't start stacking. So we want it just to be all free flowing and lovely. And that's kind of like a perfect blood sample. So you're kind of bragging. A little bit. 
And then, yeah. And then this this is from someone who had been recently injected with the AZ. Mm -hmm. So what we're seeing here is what we would call um, peculocytes, echinocytes. We, there's a lot of oxidative stress, obviously, on the outside of the red blood cell, you can see. So something has compromised um, the membrane on the outside of the red blood cell. Usually it's to do with toxicity within the system. So it wouldn't be surprising to see the blood cells looking like this at the injection site. Well, and so when our, blood, yeah, when our blood cells, when the membrane is not working efficiently like that, then um, it's not going to be delivering nutrients and oxygen and taking away the waste products. It's just not going to be working efficiently for right. us. So Whoops. here is my blood I'm gonna this morning. Take, I'm going to take, take the audio down. So this is, I'm going to take the audio off. Yeah, so I... I, I did a little bit of an experiment. Off. I have and, to do that, um, you know, but then I have to do, do that. So this is your live blood. I think this is the first one. So this was me yesterday morning um, before I took 10 drops of um, clean slate. And uh, because my blood's pretty good to start off with, um, we're not going to see kind of any much improvement in the red blood cells, but we did see an improvement after 10 drops of clean slate. If you go to the next video, I don't know where the next yeah, one is. I'm going to go, I'm going to go back through some of these. This is there where it gets fun. Look at these little dudes moving. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> there was a lot more vitality in the blood after taking 10 drops of clean slate. Now this was 20 minutes later. So what's happened is here is it's really zoomed up the electrical charge within the cell. So they're moving around um, a lot more. Uh, it was it was beautiful to see actually. And as you as you were touching on the membrane membrane efficiency, and you can see that if we go back and forth, yeah, let me let me go back here. You can you can see when you look at the membrane of these little red blood cells. They're they're very healthy, but when we go forward, yeah, I see. you can see that they're markedly stronger, and they're yeah. that's that's a measurement of their zeta potential, right? As far as their the membrane it's, energy, yeah. and such. you know, it's like Dr. Bruce Lipton says, the membrane is everything. We we talk about um, genetics and DNA, etc., um, but it's really the information comes from the terrain on the outside of the cell as to um, how we express health from within the cell. So it's we want to have a healthy terrain, the, the correct electrical charge on the outside of the cell as well. So, so we're able to pick up oxygen and take it around and deliver nutrients. It's very important to have a really healthy, um, what we call a zeta potential, the correct charge within, within the um, what do you call it? Like a colloidal solution is what yep. blood is, basically. So now we get to have some of the fun analysis with imagery. So you took yeah. some of the clean slate, put it on a slide, and then looked at that under the microscope and then waited a few hours and looked at their behavior. So we're going to walk through some of these. So this is this is one of the first images of, of the clean slate crystals and fragments under dark field microscope. So what did what did you see? Have you ever seen anything like this? No, I mean, it was just so beautiful is all I can say because with live blood analysis, we, we actually have a black and white picture, but with this clean slate, with this zeolite, um, it was showing up the ultraviolet light, like a bluey, purpley hue actually on my screen, um, which was just, I've never seen that before. It was just so beautiful. And you can't, I mean, I'll try to get as much detail for you in that picture, but when you're actually looking down the eyepiece of the microscope, you see so much more detail as well. But like literally, I just had to snap that as soon as I was able to get that because um, it was just beautiful. And there's all different sizes of um, the zeolite. Well, and then, we'll, go, we'll go here. Yeah, so th these little pieces here would be about um, probably about one fifth the size of that the first one I, we just saw, the one that looked like a spaceship. Um, and they most of them are say about 85, 90 percent of the size, and then you get slightly smaller ones and slightly bigger ones. So, and you can see, look at that ultraviolet light coming off them. 
But what was so interesting is, I think you've got a picture of when I first put the um, clean slate on the slide. And I went away for the afternoon. There we go. So that's the first one. You can't see the ultraviolet light at that magnification. Um, but you can see it's just, you know, you can see all the structures inside the clean slate solution. And when I went back to it about three or four hours later, I noticed that these lines, it had formed their own lines. It's like they had some kind of intelligence. So I've never seen this before. And you can see all these lines had developed and all the um, zeolite uh, crystals were on the lines. I mean, there were some just slightly outside the lines, but I think in the video when, when I'm showing it, you can see how they, they like to be on the lines. It was quite incredible. So you just follow the lines and they would be, can you see? <laughs> and these these formed after three hours of a drop just sitting on the slide. So it wasn't you didn't shake it. This was this was the same slide that you did the images of before that looked like this. Yeah. And then and look, three hours later they look like this. This was I think this was this morning. So even more lines had formed the next day. So I kept it overnight as well. And then there was a, a nut. See, this came overnight. That structure. That's so cool. It was just, it's just been so incredible to watch. Um, it's just to watch it change over time, see what it was doing. And energetic. Yeah, it's, it's like Pardon? Yeah, so you you're actually seeing them shift in their their position and their alignment. In, yeah. a, in a natural stat, really a static environment, because that solution is sitting under a slide. You hadn't moved it. It hadn't shaken. You hadn't done anything to change it. It's structuring Nothing. on its own. Yeah, totally on its own. It was it was quite magnificent to watch. I have never seen anything like it. Um, usually I'm looking at blood. Maybe I'll keep blood on the slide for a couple of hours, sometimes even 24 hours. And we just see if there's any pleomorphism, see what develops within the blood, you know, because we're looking at how healthy the interstitial tissue is, um, how healthy that plasma is really, what, what, what comes out of cells. It's amazing what happens when you leave blood for a while. Um, but I've never seen structures like this develop in any other solution. In a good way. Yeah. In a good way, it was it was incredible to watch. It really felt like something out of this world. And you got to take your first first few drops. Do you still have the slide of your blood with uh, after taking clean slate? No, I didn't keep it actually. Uh, no, but I will do some more testing. Yeah. And the, the plan is this week is to possibly get a couple patients that or clients who have been stabbed and look mm -hmm. at pre give them a few drops and post. I'm I'm curious to see how how the shift takes place not only in the first 10 to 15 minutes because we have some of the data uh, from Dr. Stefan Rao already on okay. on his analysis looking at heart rate variability the change in chakras doshas meridians and I'm missing one chakras doshas meridians anyway. Um, we, we see the energetic changes rather quickly and that would also probably speak to what we're what we're seeing in the energetic potential of the crystals themselves right as you have mm -hmm. i mean this this bundle of little really abundantly lit i guess you could say or charged crystalline fragments because that's what they are you know that are loaded mm -hmm. with the trace minerals and the and the ascorbic acid to improve their their function you've not like you said, you've not seen anything like this before. And this is actually the first time I've had someone image what the product looks like right now. So mm -hmm. kind of cool. It was, it was, it was quite incredible. It was just, it was so beautiful to watch. Um, that's all I can say. And let me see here. So I'm going to pull up one final, final couple of images because Sandy asked you to take some shots of what Restore looked like under the microscope. Yeah, so I put that under this morning and um, I did different magnifications. Um, so you could just have a look up close. That was 400 times magnification, that one. Uh, the bigger one was 800 times. 
um, obviously there's all little particles inside um, Restore, but it was just beautiful again because I think the turmeric, yep. you can see that you can see it through the eyepiece, but when it was on the screen, you couldn't see the color. That's why I took it down the eyepiece. Unlike, um, yeah, so that's what you would see on the screen. Um, and that's just it just settling down really. Um, when I put the cover slip on top, it's just, you know, the liquid was just settling and the bits and pieces were moving around. Um, but that's that's the color that you see through the eyepiece. But it's interesting because when you go back to the black and white of uh, the restore, you can see you can't see color, but you could see color from this clean slate. You could see the ultraviolet light. And that's what amazed me so much about the clean slate. Like, my goodness. As you're seeing the energy, the energy from these crystals actually come out. Yeah, literally. Refract. Um, you see, and it's refracting, refracting the light. And they have, and as we've seen from other dark field images, they have their own color. They have their own glow, right? It, it doesn't come through as the clear. You're seeing the blues and the greens and this amazing little yeah. glow. They're so beautiful to look at. Beautiful little crystals. Yeah. So with your with your initial initial experience, any feedback thus far based on your 20 plus years of working as a naturopath and doing this all, quite a bit? Well, I've looked at various things under the microscope, but I've, obviously I mainly look at blood, but I've never seen anything that um, changed in structure the way clean slate has changed. I've never seen that before. It's almost like it has its own intelligence. It was it's doing something. It's lining itself up. Yeah. You, communicate. You, I really you, don't know. It's, it's what we've suspected a little bit of, as well, is it has its own intelligence. And then you could almost think it's creating its own little antenna structure to communicate with the body of when it goes in, in a good mm. way versus the negative antennas that are being put into us for generations and now injected into us. Yes, yeah, true. So it probably helps create some resonance within the body, within the cellular activity, because we get such dissonance coming in from the EMS, et cetera. Um, we're hit in such various ways, aren't we? So it's nice to know there's something structured going on with the su with the supplement. Yes. Energy is all there is. You know, there is nothing else. I want every human being on the planet to know how to do this. Everybody on this planet is already a healer because you carry it in your DNA. When you really experience the results yourself of what you can do for yourself, it, it awakens that a spirit of wonder and hope and joy. I've been teaching this and having a practice for 40 years and I'm still thrilled. It's like, oh my God, it works. I mean, I was very, very sick from the time I was 16 until about 31. I got myself well from multiple sclerosis when I was told not only would I never walk, I wasn't going to live because all my organs were breaking. Mm. So Nick Nicola's asking how many was that just one drop on a slide? Uh, it was half a drop actually. That was <laughs> <laughs> one drop was just too much for the slide. Yeah. So <laughs> and then you took in in your blood work in, in the, the 20 minute difference, you took 10 drops? I took um yeah, 10 drops, yeah, within 20 minutes, and I did the, the sample afterwards. So amazing. And Leanne, Leanne's asking the question, so this will restructure water. Yes, it, it will. You're putting crystals in water. And I think mm -hmm. the important part for everyone to understand, and this this is also why we have the, the sea salt as the primary component for trace minerals. I'm actually going to ask you that question. So, you know, the sea salt actually helps to structure structure the crystals, but it's also going to help if you... If you understand that we are salt water and that these crystals are restructuring the water that's within us, which is your blood, that if you put it in a glass of water, you're effectively restructuring that water as well. And we haven't gone over this very much collectively as a group, but the importance of using intention and what you can do to structure 
structure of the water that you're putting in. If you, if you pray, if you put intention into this little bottle, like if we put good intention into this little guy, right? When you have it and you put love, you put prayer, whatever you want to put into this little guy, it's going to do, it's going to carry all of that intention mm. throughout your entire system. Because as we've just seen, you have all these little glowing crystalline fragments that are taking those frequencies and going throughout your entire system. But you can do the same thing with water, right? So we put it in water. You can you can pray over your water. You can, if we were talking about it or somebody of writing love on your glass might have Christina do this. We can make root glassware and, you know, put different slogans and such on, on your glassware. But, you know, the every bit of intention that you put into this, and that's where the quantum component comes in so effectively you're seeing the energy right that's coming from these crystals and and we know what the secret is because all of these little fragments are not just loaded with its natural energy it's loaded with christina's because it's her intention that she put into this for it to do what she wants so as you know with restore it has from our heart to your hands on the package um, clean slate's no different. It's just a much more profound energy energy delivery mechanism. So, yeah. Let's see here. I'm going to see if there's any other notes, or I'm going to let you let you go here. I'm going to kick you off, so you're good. <laughs> <laughs> 